Greetings, everyone. Welcome to church. It is I, your heavenly sister, Sophie No Sleep. And today, we're going to be reading out the most heinous and devious cookie machines so you can all enter the new year as a fresh new soul. Now, follow me. The cookie runs sinful sins are right this way. They're just right down this hallway. Now, let's get into it. Yeet! Child of dough, you now sit across me and the great witches. Tell me, what is it that you must confess? I know no wanna. Then why are you here? Not gonna lie, I actually really like espresso and smut. Uh, uh, huh? They should totally... F how dare- how can you say that? With that face! Gay cookie sex 69. We're off to a great start, aren't we? I am what you call a cookie run sh multi shipper. I have tested the waters on various cookie run ships at least once to see if I like it or not. The ships that I have follow range from mainstream and widely accepted ships to rare ships that only a small number of fans actually like or know about. Okay, so far so good. I am careful with which ship I choose because I will admit I have thought about the likelihood of any ship being canon at least once whether I accept it or not. I think we, we, we all go through that. Yes, I have accepted who I am as a cookie run fan deep down, but I'll stay vague about my favorites out of fear of being ostracized on the internet. That's just sad, dude. It's okay to be a multi-shipper and like rare ships. Like, hey, I'll give you a, a confession right now. I ship Shuro Cookie and Lilac. That's a rare pair they have never met, but I love this ship. So it's okay, man. It's okay. You 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 you, you can be vocal about whatever ship you want, alright? Don't don't let the haters don't let the haters get to you. It's just a ship at the end of the day. I ate red velvet's cake hounds. No! My friend gave me access to the Cookie Run account to grind them while they were on a trip, okay? For the laughs, I deleted it, and they only had two cookies left to collect. I'm sorry, but it was kind of funny they haven't- WHY WOULD YOU DO THAT?! OH MY G- Why would you do- Nah, nah. To hell with you. To hell with you. My mom found out about my long-distance relationship. She called me into her room and said that I forgot to close my account on her phone. I almost cried when I sat down next to her, and she asked who Caramel Arrow Cookie is. <laughs> I am a fangirl of Captain Caviar Cookie. I really went deep in the- I really went to a deep rabbit hole. Please save me. No. There's no saving from you from this. There's no saving from you. Once you obsess on a cookie- it, you already signed your contract to the devil. I'm sorry, my my friend, but there's no saving you. When Baguette Cookie came out, I started the headcanon that she and Claire Cookie were married, but just don't talk. They just don't talk about it so they can focus on work. But when they came home, they're so snuggly with. But then when they come home, they're so snuggly with each other. And Baguette and Baguette lets Claire ramble on for hours, and she doesn't mind. Oh, oh, that's so cute. That's cute. That's so cute. It's really dumb, but I can't stand people who headcan and express as a girl. I find most of them really annoying, and I have even unfollowed artists that I love just because of that. Honestly, uh, I can understand not liking a headcanon. But hey, at least you did a good thing and not attacked them for it. You know, just unfollow the artist and move on. So I com so I, uh, so I congratulate you for that, but yeah, man, I, I understand. There, there are some headcanons that you don't like, but... Good for you for taking the right action, not actually attacking the person for it. I regularly masturbated to Bad and Dark, imagining myself losing my virginity listening to it. And I still do. And I will lose my virginity listening to it. Mark my words. Bad and Dark? The Bad Force song? The, the Bad Force song? I'm tired of this community. Every day there's new drama and I have to pick a side to keep my mouth shut so that people will like me and that I will be popular. I can't take it anymore. I wish I could scream and shout how much I hate everybody in this hellhole. But, I, since, I'm a, but since I'm a set with getting popular, I can't. D damn. I can somewhat relate to this problem because I am very- I am at least popular amongst this fandom myself. But like... Oof. If the, if if like all this drama is really getting into you, I really suggest you just um, you just stay away from drama overall and just enjoy Cookie Run for like you know the media at itself and not look at the fandom, cause like 
I, I get it, man. It, it sucks. It really sucks. Can I post my Lilac and Yogurt Cream fanfic on this? No, no, no this, is, this is a confessional. But if there is a confession within that fanfic, then uh, I guess I guess you should do that. I am sorry for invading the desert paradise forest. Huh? I am sorry for burgering Sugar Terra before it got ruined. What? I'm sorry I burgered Frosty Frost Queen's Cookies Castle. Hey, yo, we got freaking rogue food over here. Someone called the police. They're 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 stealing everything. I confess that. I, a noob, look up to beat certain boss fights in Cookie Run Kingdom whenever I get stuck. Please forgive me. What? Are you- What? Are, are we bashing people for looking up how to beat bosses? I thought everyone did this. What? What? Hey, who's ever bashing, like, people for, like, trying to beat a boss? Um, screw you. Screw you, don't do that. Let people- Let, let, let people get help. Oh my god. It's okay, man. You, you, you're fine. You don't have to feel bad for that. That's completely normal, dude. You're fine. Do you remember those herb cookie dancing TikToks that used to be posted during the early days of Cookie Run Kingdom? Especially in the one where he lifts his shirt off? I used to. Used to! Do things with that specific video on. I, I'm sorry? I, I, I'm sorry? You did things... with this? With this! Oh, your greatness! I have been upgrading so much for my cookies that I have almost gotten my kingdom almost bankrupt multiple times. I'm gathering more supplies, but the urge to make it stronger is just irresistible. No! My dear friend, no! You mustn't make every cookie strong, only the ones that are actually good. You don't have to upgrade every cookie. It is not necessary. The only ones necessary are the ones that have like the Bond story and the ones that are good for combat. You don't have to upgrade every cookie. It is okay. Free yourself. Free yourself. I draw cookies with titties and I'm not sorry. Based, honestly. Based. I get excited by sentient pastries, especially twinks and hot sexy woman cookies. That is a sentence. That is a sentence that exists now. I have a habit of calling T Night Cookie Granddaddy Cookie. <laughs> Not even in a bad way, it's just a general old man way. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Now I've been calling Milky Way Cookie a fetus? Despite someone because that's what they. Why? A fetus? Why? The, the term baby is right there. Why fetus? When I first got into Cookie Run back in early 2020, I had the fattest fucking crush on Pistachio Cookie for reasons I don't even know myself. She was literally the first cookie I ever maxed out on my affection because I was so infatuated by her. Looking back, I guess it's not that surprising that I turned out to be a lesbian! <laughs> oh my god. Best coming out story I've ever seen. <laughs> Gambling addiction has been really has been really getting to me and not in a healthy way. Oh no. I really burned out from arena, unlucky gotcha pulls, topping RNG, etc. And yet I still love this game. I like the characters in it and their stories. Asking for asking for luck is probably a bit much since I hope so I just hope that next year I can put a proper boundary on myself so I can set my so I can set my life to be a lot more peaceful. You know what? Good, good. Good. I hope you do set the boundary. And good luck on that, honestly. I really hope you are able to achieve this goal. Okay, this game may be good, but you don't have to gamble on everything. You don't need to get every cookie. It's okay. So I really hope you're able to set that boundary and, you know, start anew. So good, good on you. Good on you, man. Good on you. I sent my friend to Twitter art of their favorite cookies, Milky, milk cookie being one of them. No, it wasn't the good kind. No, they didn't deserve it. Oh, no. Can I freak... Can I be forgiven so they can stop saying I'm a bad friend? It was one time and I don't deserve the slander. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe, um, uh, next time you decide to send naughty art, um, you ask them for permission first. Because suddenly just sending your friend, uh, not safe for work art is, uh, is bad. It, it, it's pretty bad. 
that that is a uh, that's very bad uh, so next time ne next time you do that have that in mind ask for permission because being jump scared by that is a uh, not a good thing this whether whether if it's your favorite cookie or not it's it's never good forgive me witches for i have a sin to confess lay it on me my brother and doe lay it on me i don't think legendaries deserve costumes nor some super epics keyword some however I will confess that. I think Claude agree. He's a costume. And so does Afogado. Agree. Agree. Well, yes, you could argue that Frost Queen deserves one. I'd honestly rather that someone that isn't a legendary because they are overrated. Disagree, but I see your point. But in my opinion, Claude Cream is the only super epic that does not that has not gotten a costume. Oh my god, you're right. He is the only super well, no, there there's also Crimson Coral, but I, I see your point. And Afogato hasn't gotten one either, even though he is part of the Cookie of Darkness. And they all have costumes, but not him. Another thing, be, another thing both Claude and Afogato are one of, if not, just the fandom's favorite characters. And they both have a lot of sense. And yet, Death shoes a moon, a fish, and some lake fairy over characters with potential. <laughs> That is the funniest way I see this description. I love it. I oh my god. I hope I hope you may forgive me. But I hope and I hope my sins shall be forgiven. You are forgiven. Because you're kinda based, dude. You're kinda based. I agree. I kinda agree. Yeah, they really should give costumes to more lore relevant cookies. Not saying that like Moonlight and, and the legendaries aren't that lore relevant, but they aren't that active as they should be. I accidentally broke the cookie run economy, and now I caused a crash. Help. Nope. Live with the consequences of your actions. My own wrongdoings with the other cookies. But what are those wrong- Actually, no, you know what? I don't think I want to know those wrongdoings. And with that, my dear brothers and sisters, I end this video. I hope y'all liked what you saw. And I know by the time this video is out, the new year is already over. But- it is still fresh. January, after all, is still the first month of the year. So, yeah, with this, I bid you all adieu. Happy New Year!